Good morning, everybody. December 9th here. Dr. Vong here. Quick COVID update. It's not good. Numbers are really skyrocketing through the roof. Yesterday, 149,000 cases in the United States. Our daily average is up over 120,000 cases. New York City is really starting to get on fire. 24, 2,500 cases a day average. Uh, Chicago's getting hot. So if those two, number one, number three, most populated states in, uh, cities in the United States catch on fire, we're going to have very, very bad 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 winter so what you're seeing now is the result of the thanksgiving gatherings not omicron this is still delta however the south is getting hot again which i've been saying it will do we're seeing bad numbers but remember like as we get into the like the holiday season christmas etc new year's i mean some states like florida might stop reporting for two or three days and make their numbers look better but i'm telling you it's it's not going to be good and unlike last year where on you know after new year's there was a precipitous decline i don't know if that will happen this year it won't it might continue to push up forward um i wouldn't make too much about the new omicron sub variants yet there's too much to be known i i did that video yesterday on why it's too early to say um, omicron is milder disease and i want to re repeat this which is because i don't think i said it well yesterday you cannot say that the um, uh, Omicron variant is milder. And I wanna stress, because the bad results will take four, five, six weeks to come in. In other words, the early data is always the people who recover, right? Because that's what happens, they recover, hence that's what recover means. And then you can't put into the statistics the people who are still in the hospital. So right now we know that uh, early patients have recovered and that rate, and then we know that the, the hospitalization is ticking up in South Africa. So you can't sit there and say, oh, well, the cases are milder, but oh, hospitalizations are ticking up. Now the people that are in the hospitals, other than saying that they're hospitalized, you can't say, anything beyond that. You can't say death, you can't say ICU stay, etc. It's still too early. So everyone who's trying to quote by saying, hey, uh, Omicron has a thousand cases and nobody has died. What's well, too fucking early? It doesn't make you sound like a genius. It just means you're jumping the gun because it's gonna take people time. Remember, they're either, they're in the hospital now, they're either gonna get, get discharged for long-term care, long COVID, whatever it is, or full recovery or they're going to go to ICU, in which case they stay in that whole wheel, and then they'll either get discharged from the ICU or you know, to back to the regular floor and then discharged or back into the ICU, or, <clears throat> or they'll die. And those numbers are just too early. So that's where we are. That's why you cannot say Omicron is less virulent, less deadly, or milder symptoms. You just can't say that right now. You need to stay safe. Uh, Pfizer came out and said that their third dose is protective against um, Omicron. You know, conspiracy people say, oh, well, see, you're just lining Pfizer's pockets. I don't know, I don't get paid. Like everyone who sits there, you go, oh, he's getting paid by Big Pharma. Like, dude, you don't know how medicine works. You sound like an idiot because I don't get paid. If I were a Pfizer consultant, I would have to tell you I'm a Pfizer consultant. I'm not a consultant for anybody. I'm not getting paid by anybody. I do what the fuck I want. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm trying to, you know, help you stay safe. So we're in this for a longer time. In the next few videos, I want to tell you again why it's really not necessary that we genomic sequence all of these different strains. You don't know if you, you don't need to know if you've got the, you know, Omicron variant, Iota, Zeta, Beta, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really matter. The only thing, because it doesn't matter in terms of outcomes. You just got to stay safe, mask up, get vaccinated because we, we have that available. Um, the other thing I'm going to start talking about, and I was reminded by my private group yesterday, is like I was going to start talking about the emotional and psychological, psychological toll that this pandemic's taking on people, and some tips and tricks that your um, that would help you kind of make it through this this next surge and into the spring in 2022. We are going to have coronavirus all the way through 2022. I promise you. And so that's where I'm transitioning to the psychological, emotional side. So put, put psychological, emotional, mental, or whatever, mental help in the comment section if you'd be interested in hearing some very practical tips that I could give you to get through this pandemic and make 2022 an awesome time of year for you. 
Um, as always, if you're in a hot spot, please do not gather. Please make sure you're vaccinated. And remember, the South is going to rise again in terms of heat. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye, guys.